There's no shame in down climbing if you think you're gonna fall 40 feet onto concrete. Well, maybe a little shame. Uh, this is the golden age of buildering. The future is wide open. Buildering really is the future. You're in a city and surrounded by pavement. That sounds terrible to me. Just go do rocks. Let's go find mountains. Yeah. These guys are sketchy, don't go. Don't be there. Dangerous. That's just a no. It's a definite no. These guys are out of control, and I want to intervene. I would say that man has been trying to replicate iconic landscapes that have been naturally formed over eons. Look at the striking walls of Yosemite. Let's recreate them out of glass and stainless steel. The growth of rock climbing is eventually gonna just hit a standstill. So there's gonna be no more rock. There's gonna be mountains, they're all climbed, everything's done. When the pyramids of Giza were being finished, I'm sure there was some worker who like looked left and right and then went and sent it, dude. We're trying to keep it natural, no pads, no ropes and whatnot, but I will admit there's certain buildings where a camera or two are necessary. <laughs> Extendable, baby. This is trad climbing, this ain't no sport climbing. I work in Mackie's dark room every night, and one night I, I realized the building's true potential. I mean, the job pays all right, but there's just something missing. Yeah, Drew's been spending a lot of time in the dark working. It's definitely starting to mess with his head, and I think he's making some questionable decisions. But I also think Drew went off the deep end a long time ago. I would decide to do something that somebody else may not like. Then you wait for them to leave and then you go back. After six months of probation, a trespassing ticket, and countless hours of community service, I was a free man. Yeah, dude, like once you see a line, like you can't unsee it. You just gotta eventually put your shoes on and climb it. I moved down to Arizona for a warm winter of climbing. I was working at a rock gym with some of the strongest Arizonian climbers, but when I asked them to come builder with me, all I got was dirty looks until I met Kyle. Things at my job were kind of a legal choss pile, so I quit and moved down to Tucson. The splitters here are just some of the best the desert has to offer. There's just something about being in between two concrete pillars of the hand jam that just feels so good. You're thinking about a building in a different way than it was intended to be thought about and utilized, so that is counter the culture. I grew up in this area, you know, and I drove by this all the time. You just see things that can be climbed, you know, and you can only stare at it so long until you just suck it up and just do it. 
there's a nervy energy with this stuff. It is illegal. It isn't respected. It's an unusual activity. There's consequences, not only if you get caught, but even worse, if you fall. All of that energy, you still have to quiet it when it comes time to actually climbing the structure. Even though it has qualities of improvisation, you still are weighing the consequences and risk assessing and looking critically at the environment around you. It's not just the act, but the consideration of the act that's very powerful. I don't know, he got really angsty and one day I come out of class and he's just like halfway up the humanities tower. I think that was like the beginning of it. It's easy and it's high up, then if you do fall, like, it's over with. You don't need to mess around with broken ankles or any nonsense like that. It was cool, it was like something new, but it just went way too far. So like in broad daylight, you're a few stories up and you're in a downtown area, but no one sees you. That's cool. Uh, before cleaning windows, it's good to just Soak in the morning sun. Last day of work, dude. South America, here we come. Br -br <laughs> Beautiful day to go for a ski tour. Seamus. It's kind of cool to climb on natural features. Like, well, not really natural at all, actually. That was like proper 510 climbing like free solo and you're getting like hosed off by cops. Buildings in Boulder can't be built over 40 feet due to height restrictions, but there's one exception. William Village and climbing that, I never climbed that. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe Josh is looking out of line. He thinks maybe he can do it, but maybe it's a little risky and Drew says, you, you do it, you got it. We might push each other too far. Yeah, come on, Josh. You do it, you got it. It's a little sketchy. It takes uh, you know, some time, some patience, some practice, but no falls. Because you don't want to be whipping down on the concrete and augering into the ground. That's to be avoided.
The seasons change. People come and go. But buildings forever. Oftentimes we feel that we may fall in line or live this routine life. Well, when you look up, you all of a sudden break the plane of normal and you go to an unusual plane. And when you climb up, you do the same thing with your body and then with your spirit and your soul. So keep climbing, keep going up. Death is inevitable, so why not build her? Yo, Josh, did you hurt this so? Thanks.